mimi niliona kwa my 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 dad and my mom mm-hmm. zile vita walikuwa nazo huu hey. zilikuwa mingi they were classic mm-hmm. men naturally want to rapid yeah, you have to do that you mm-hmm. have to make sure it's very every mm-hmm. small mistake must be punished severely <laughs> because you're the head <laughs> learning submission was not an easy thing mm-hmm. especially for an independent person because mm-hmm. i was very independent he too was very independent mm-hmm. so uh, i learned that one the hard way Hello hello and good evening it is Friday and you know how we do it yes we gather every Friday at 9:45 pm and we come here to tackle issues that are pertaining to the this thing called marriage and you know this is the hottest show in east and central africa this is the couples week show and this is where we write down our love with when we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under neither we want our love story to be read when we are gone my name is Willy Kinyash and now there they call me the undisputed I'm a doctor love and this is Wema TV the voice of hope and tonight utapenda i am having an amazing <laughs> amazing couple what an amazing couple to come and say kwa heri to the month of february the month of love yeah. you know in this in the studio manzeni ni mapenzi tu inatetemeka huko ni mapenzi tu and i have i'm hosting an amazing couple wanajita the jerus you love their story from how and where they met and some of the challenges <laughs> they have gone through my friend if you think that you have gone through challenges keep it here we my tv hi guys hi hi, hi good to have you here good, good to have you karibu ni wema asante sana tena wema kabisa kabisa yes. your name speaks for itself oh thank yes. you very much yes. so thank you for accepting the invitation mm-hmm. to come and be with us Asante. and more to come and share your love story with us thank you karibuni sana Asante. so thank you can introduce yourself to our viewers okay yes so who goes on? so uh, my name is <laughs> anthony jero um i'm married to this wonderful woman happy valentines day <laughs> oh happy valentines man man <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so we are uh, married to Miriam Ki and we have uh, two boys um we are 12 years now in marriage we are going on to uh, to 12 years mm-hmm. yeah. let me just allow you to introduce yourself also. okay thank you and thank you really for having us yeah. uh I'm Mary Gaki but I like calling myself Gaki Njero. Mm-hmm. Uh and this is Njero, mm-hmm. the Njero yeah. man, eh? mm-hmm. the person who agreed to give me his name. Njero means Kweru. Kweru and you can <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the Kweru. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah, so yeah and uh we yeah like he said we are going to our 12th year in marriage. Yeah. Um and we are enjoying marriage doing yes. marriage together mm-hmm. of course this is not how we started yes. but we've realized as as the years move on it's mm-hmm. becoming easier yeah. to live with each other yes. mm-hmm. <laughs> and to love each other mm-hmm. um what else can i say about myself oh yeah i'm a caterer uh-huh. a, a hospitality mm-hmm. professional mm-hmm. by profession yes. and uh, recently i also graduated and became a relationship coach yes. so that's why we are here to talk about family yes. and marriage yeah. which is an area of passion that we've been cultivating over the years mm. yes wow mm. thank you very much Asante. that is how we came to connect yes actually yes. yeah <laughs> Yeah when I posted uh, my graduation on Facebook yes. and you reached out thank mm-hmm. you for reaching out yes. actually I mean it's amazing I yeah. I didn't know that this is how it was going to be like yeah. I didn't know when I did the course mm-hmm. this is the direction yes. you know of coming and talking to people mm-hmm. but why not I mean yeah. if one more family can stand mm-hmm. and uh, if one more marriage can work I'm yeah. I'm, I'm glad yes. to be here yes. and to do that and that is why you're here yes to encourage uh, people Mm-hmm. And you see here in this mm-hmm. show mm-hmm. we don't do a lot of uh, 
theorists. Yes, yeah? it's practical. It's practical. <laughs> I yeah. mean, this is your life. Yes. Yes. This is how we are doing it. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be, we, we come here to encourage other couples out true, there that true. it is doable. Yes. That if we have managed, mm -hmm. even you out there, you can do it. Very it true. is doable. That Very is true. why the 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 jeros the they are here. They got keys. <laughs> Huh? They got kids. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, the Jerus. Yes, the Jerus. Uh -huh. They are here, yeah. and they are here to sign their mm. love while they are alive. Yes. Let's hear their story. Mm -hmm. So, guys, mm -hmm. where did you meet? <laughs> uh, you yeah, don't hear his version. Yes. <laughs> I mean, every time I ask this question, yeah, different couples will have different, different answers. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let me hear your version, and then we come to her version. Uh, we met, uh, I met uh, my wife, Mary Gakia, that time she was a slender young lady mm -hmm. yeah. at uh, Kenya, that was Kenya Poly, mm -hmm. at a church called Life Church. Mm -hmm. um, I had just come to Life Church um, from, I've just been rec recently born again, mm -hmm. just like nine months at mm -hmm. that time, mm -hmm. and I was hung hungry for God, I yeah. was really hungry for God, I tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, when I, uh, the first place I went into the church, mm -hmm. uh, I felt I, I'm not going to stay here. Mm -hmm. So I, I prayed and told the, the Lord, I need a place now. Mm -hmm. There's no way I'm going to stay here. Mm -hmm. So then when this door opened, mm -hmm. I came to uh, Life Church at the Kenya Poly. Mm -hmm. And from that point on, from the day I came in, I had never noticed her, by the way. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, I didn't notice her until we did a music video together. I was directing a music video, uh -huh. and uh, the artist, uh, you would know him by name, Mr. Googs, mm -hmm. uh, we were direct, uh, I was directing one of his videos, mm -hmm. and was a she was, she was uh, at the Vixen. <laughs> what ah, okay, yes. <laughs> okay, what so was that? Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, so oh was, my God. <laughs> So as a video, was, what would you call that? A character? Yeah, or a character. Or something. Uh, All right. she, was acting, she was acting as one of these uh, girl mm -hmm. who was, I can't even remember, but uh, the video, and incidentally, we showed the video at our family home. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, my dad's home. Yes. That's where we, hire, we hired. Or uh -huh. I, me, that, that's where the video was being shot. Uh, shot yeah. Uh -huh. So that's where we showed the video. Yes. So um, we didn't even connect. Even at that time, I didn't connect. Mm -hmm. it, 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 she was just coming to act. Mm -hmm. Then we shot another video. Then after that, uh, we didn't connect again for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Until uh, until the next time I think we connected again mm -hmm. was, uh, I can't remember, either one, a young lady was sick mm -hmm. and uh, the husband had le ha had traveled mm -hmm. and he co he reached out to us and told us, uh, please check out my, my wife. Mm -hmm. I've just left her. She's not feeling okay. Mm -hmm. So could you make an effort mm -hmm. to... Uh, check out how she is. Mm. So, I think he, he also called her and mm. we tried to get away to get her to hospital. Mm -hmm. And so the next morning we found ourselves again connecting again mm -hmm. at the hospital. Yeah. And we found out this young lady had it was not even sick. She just had chicken pox. the chicken pox ili akupaka dawa ya white choker. So after that, well, I think things then started taking uh, mm -hmm. another step further mm -hmm. until much later when we began talking. Um, she came, we, we just connected and we sat down and talked mm -hmm. and uh, we asked, uh, we, some, somehow we kind of began feeling, um, we f felt uh, maybe this might be the Lord's doing. Mm -hmm. So when the first time we sat down, mm -hmm. uh, like let's say it's a date, mm -hmm. uh, that is the first time we talked and said, you know what, I am coming from this side. So it is time you understand who I am. So mm -hmm. I need you to go. So I was just pushing her away. Yeah. So your connection, uh, you connected. For you to connect, yes. somebody had to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> for you to connect. Yeah, it was <laughs> connection. God, God, God works in mysterious <laughs> ways. Yes. That someone has to be sick yeah. so that we can see each other mm -hmm. and, and meet in that hospital. Yes. Wow. Yes. What? So we connected in various ways, but the day we sat down not to talk mm -hmm. and say, you know what? That was almost a year later, you know, mm -hmm. six months after we had reconnected the very first time shooting the video. Mm -hmm. It was now six months later mm -hmm. when we sat down now to start, to start talking. Mm -hmm. When we began talking now, that's when uh, we laid our cards on the table. Mm -hmm. This is who I am, this is where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. and it is a good idea for you to stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, because I'm coming from another one. My yes. background is so bad. Yes. <laughs> so, 
and this is a girl in church. Mm -hmm. uh, she's like, uh, at that time, she knows advanced prophetics. So, I'm going to get to Koka. I'm just being born, I'm just born again. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, I think it was at that point I was like a partner. Mm -hmm. So, we talked, and mm -hmm. she opened up also. And one thing led to another. Mm -hmm. Before long, mm -hmm. one year later, we were married. Wow. Yeah, so wow. we just uh, from connecting <coughs> to marriage was less than what one one, one and, and a half, half years. years. Wow, yeah, amazing. Yeah, so that's your version. That's my <laughs> let's hear your version. <laughs> oh my god, yes, hey, all right. Now, my version is uh, of course, it's more elaborate because mm -hmm. I think me, I am the one who was going through all those motions. Eh? Yes. So he said he saw me first in church mm -hmm. i think and he noticed me i think for him i didn't notice him until we went to do the video yeah so i would say i met him at that video that the video we were shooting yeah. yes mm. so that's the first time i saw him mm. and so now after seeing him that time i actually thought he's a family man ah. oh yeah because of mm. the way he carried himself mm. he was so composed yeah. so of course mm -hmm. Uh, me, I thought this is a family man. Mm -hmm. I was coming from a relationship, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like a five-year relationship, mm -hmm. five years or so, and mm -hmm. uh, part of the five years was long distance, mm -hmm. and uh, the relationship had not worked. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't so keen, mm -hmm. per se, mm -hmm. on, on getting into another relationship, yeah. although I had started feeling like, you know, my biological clock is yes. ticking. Yes, yes. And you know, kawaidae to ladies, we will pretend yeah. that, ah, uh, me, you, you know, know uh, me, me, I'm not desperate. Yes. But who can done it? You're feeling, ah, these guys. This, <laughs> the timing, maze, ah, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> yeah, so I, I was in that kind of a situation mm -hmm. where I, I don't want to rush into any relationship, but at the same time, mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, well, okay, I really need to settle down. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so. When I, when now we went for the video shootout, I think there's nothing much that happened after that. Mm -hmm. But one day, mm -hmm. uh, one day he came and uh, after the video was out, mm -hmm. he came to church and called me aside and gave me the video, the video, the CD yeah. that we had been, the, the, the DVD mm -hmm. that we had been shooting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, oh, hi -ya. you mean he can even remember me? Like, yeah. I was so surprised. I was like, hi, yeah. all right. Okay. So by then, mm -hmm. I had started, I think I had gotten to know his name. I had started seeing how he comes to church. I, mm -hmm. I had started noticing where he sits, mm -hmm. how serious yeah. he is in church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had a specific yeah. place. Uh -huh. And how he would come to church early, mm -hmm. and how he was so serious, and how he was not talking to anybody. He was a big snob, mm -hmm. by the way. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. a, a big, big snob. Uh -huh. uh, so, and then, of course, in a church, you know, you see, see ladies, the youth, yeah. so you're like, so who is that one? Uh -huh. I'm seeing uh -huh. someone, uh -huh. nini, uh -huh. nini, but you can tell ka interest eh, from various corners. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think that's what happened. So he gave me the, the video, the, the DVD, and uh, I think. After that, mm -hmm. um, yeah, after that, I think I blushed it off. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lot was still happening. I think I was, in, I was doing my, my studies at USIU. I was mm -hmm. having evening classes. So I think I didn't have so much time to, to really think about it. But then one day, mm -hmm. I remember it was the last week of January. Mm -hmm. uh, the last week of January, you know, you go through this. You, I, th that's when I was actually now like closing up mm -hmm. that the previous relationship. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, God, I do not want to get married. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I am tired of marriage. If this guy can do this to me. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the guy messed up. And so me, I'm tired of marriage and I do not want to get married. Mm -hmm. And I remember praying in my house that day. And uh, I was living in Zimmerman. So I was praying in my house one day. And I told God, but if you feel like you want to bless me with a marriage, mm -hmm. it is fine. Mm -hmm. But just know me, I'm not, I'm not investing in it anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think but I prayed. It was just a relationship. You are not married. No, it mm -hmm. was a relationship. Yes. Yes. We mm -hmm. were planning to get married. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, uh, I think probably I'm not supposed to get married. I think I was also hurting mm -hmm. because I, that day when I prayed, I actually made up my mind. I'm going to adopt a child. Wow. And forget <laughs> about marriage. Nile mm -hmm. took a total and uh, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And I even tried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tried to the Allah. adoption. <laughs> yeah, 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 
I tried finding out about um, adoption options. Mm -hmm. uh, the unfortunate thing around that time when I was finding out, I was told that I'm too young. Mm -hmm. uh, one day I may decide to get married and, you know, test the kid or throw away yeah. the child. So mm -hmm. I could not qualify. Mm -hmm. I was told you're still young. If probably you are 35 plus, mm. you'd have considered. Mm. So I was thinking about it. Mm. So that night I prayed and I told God, I'm, I'm, I'm done with marriage. I think, uh, uh, thank God that time there was no word that men are scum. Mm -hmm. Your time here to men were um, brothers. Yeah, yeah. We had not called them <laughs> scums yet. <laughs> they are not yet a scum. Uh, yes. The scum uh, has come with uh, the uh, well, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> this generation is one that yes. has scum. Eh? Yeah. And uh, so when that finished, when, when I prayed that night, mm -hmm. I remember very well mm -hmm. uh, me mentioning to God mm -hmm. marriages that I have seen working. Mm -hmm. I, I began telling God, mm -hmm. God, so, so and so's marriage has worked. So and so's marriage has worked. Mm -hmm. My parents' marriage worked. You know, I listed my pastor's marriage. That time my pastor, the marriage was working. Mm -hmm. So I was saying, God, if you are going to give me a marriage, it had better work. Mm -hmm. It had better be like those ones I'm listing, you know, something worth it. Mm -hmm. If not, then me, I am done about marriage because these men, I just don't know. I don't know. Wow. So, and you know, again, I think at the stage at which I was in my life, I had a good job mm -hmm. and uh, I was stable. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I was not stable. Mm -hmm. I was even looking after some of my brothers when they were in college. Mm -hmm. They would come and crash at my house. Mm -hmm. So I, I was stable. Yeah. I was not hustling. Mm. <laughs> I was stable. Mm. But then uh, that issue of marriage was just not coming through wow. the way I expected. So mm. the, the feeling of that frustration, it mm. was there. Mm. So when I prayed that night, interestingly, mm. uh, something interesting happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, like he said, at the prophetic, I don't know what, me, I'm, I, I love listening to God. Eh? So I have a dream. Maybe some people out there are like, our dreams are fake or it's, some people say it's the subconscious mind, you know that. But I had a dream and I had a strange dream and he happened to feature in my dream. Hmm? Yes, he did. <laughs> he happened to feature in my dream. That is January... All this time, there's nothing. Nothing. Started. Let me tell you, this is a, the snobbiest person in yes, your church. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't say hi to no one. Mm -hmm. He doesn't talk to anyone. He comes, he comes in and leaves. Yes, but then very spiritual. Then you have a dream. <laughs> <Yes>. about, <laughs> and this guy features. Uh -huh. No, it's not about. <laughs> not about. Uh -huh. He features. Oh, he features in the dream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He features in my dream <laughs> and uh, wow. So I wake up the following morning and I'm very confused. In fact, I start by repenting <laughs> because I'm like, Father God, if I have any thoughts mm -hmm. that are negative yes. about this person, erase those thoughts. Remember, mm -hmm. we are not talking. Mm -hmm. So I pray that prayer of the Lord erasing evil thoughts. Yes. Then I have another dream again. Yeah. So instead of the dream fading away, it comes again. Mm -hmm. So um, by this time, that's one week to end January. So beginning of February, mm -hmm. it's like, now I got another dream. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, now what do I do? So this is a bad dream. Yes. Like, a th yeah, like around that span, mm -hmm. I had like three dreams. And this guy is featuring in all my dreams. Remember, we still don't talk. Mm -hmm. We still don't. I mean, like, we, d we are not even in the same space in church. Mm -hmm. He's in the media department. Mm -hmm. I was in the praise and worship mm -hmm. and protocol department. Mm -hmm. So there is nowhere we are even at relating. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And all along, I'm still hearing, you know, some of my girlfriends are like, eh, this, this guy, guy, he's a snob. You know, we are all... <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we know each other as the youth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think now those dreams are what actually, like, gave me a wake-up call. I was like, wait a minute, what is it about this guy? What, what is happening here? Mm -hmm. uh, somewhere along, I think after that, now is where his friend calls us to go and see his sick wife. Mm -hmm. At some point, we still don't get to talk. We handle the sick wife and leave. Like, we are still not talking many things. Mm -hmm. But then for me now, I, I started praying about it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, God, I don't know what is happening. I have no idea mm -hmm. what is going on. But I start noticing him in an interesting way now. The, the noticing now becomes more interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I see him more often in church. Mm -hmm. Then um, basically, 
my story is from the time I had the dream, say like January, the first time he ever talked to me was in June. <laughs> so that was a whole five or six months yeah. of me just incubating this dream within myself and just silently looking at this guy and I'm thinking, God, I cannot approach a man so for my you, yeah. you say hi to him. Just a um, hi. If he happens to be on my path, <laughs> I will say hi. Hi. Yes. And then? And that's it. <laughs> yeah. If he happens to be on my path, I will say hi. How would he respond to you? He'll, he'll salimika, but you know, ile with finality. Like, yeah. he will make hi, sure hi, he's hi. not showing you any interest. Mm -hmm. So it's hi, hi, phew, and you can't even Measure. see him. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I stayed on with that for, for like, say, five months. But in between the five months, he would do things, and I'm thinking, because like there's one time, I don't know whether you remember, mm -hmm. there's one Kesha we were having, a youth Kesha, yeah. at the basement where yeah. we used to meet. Nice. And he purposely took his coffee, you know the 3 a.m. break. Mm. He took his coffee and came and sat next to me. And we talked and talked. I don't know even what we were talking about, but mm. of course it, has, it had to be about ministry. It couldn't be anything <laughs> else. <laughs> okay. And that was it. So mm -hmm. I was thinking, gosh, okay, this guy now is even talking to me. Mm -hmm. But even after that talk mm -hmm. in that Kesha, mm -hmm. it's not like at you know you expect Sunday or Saturday Sunday he'll look out for me. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Like it ended there. Yeah. He still doesn't even have my number. Mm -hmm. So basically it took that long mm -hmm. uh, before he could even say anything. Mm -hmm. So how did he even come to talk to me and ask me out? So Mimi being the Can we share what we should you know, one, yes. of, one, one of the things I, 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 I get surprised <laughs> is that people take me to be a snob. <laughs> um, okay, now you're not. I know, I know. You know now. <laughs> yeah, and, now I do. Yeah, <laughs> even then, I never was. Yeah. I never was. I think where I was coming from, I was coming from a very hard position. I'm just coming to church, recently born again. Mm -hmm. Stucky jokes na maisha anymore. Mm -hmm. I am, at that point, I'm what? I'm going to the Caribbean 34, I think. Just around there. Mm -hmm. um, just wasted eight years of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Just coming out of eight years, Zimeisha uh, at around 2006. Six there about. Mm -hmm. So eight years of another relationship, mm -hmm. evil Misha. Mm -hmm. Evil too. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, you come to there was post election violence, there was mm -hmm. all that trauma and all that, and my life was not in order. Mm -hmm. Everything was upside down. Then you so, come to church. And then I come to church. I think I was still hurting very bad, mm -hmm. very deeply. Plus, now remember, I'm coming also now from a deeper background of a family background. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, coming uh, I'm coming from a dysfunctional family. Um, family are still together, mm -hmm. but kila siku ni makelele, kila siku ni vita. Mm -hmm. Every day you have... You, you know, some drama. there is always drama, and mm. dramas are always Sunday. Sunday evenings are always the best days yeah. for drama. Mm. Always after church. Kila mtu ametoka kwa church yake, church yake, tunakutavia nyumbani, they share drama. anointing, drama in a share. <laughs> <laughs> so we agree, that's how we, that's where I came from. So for me, marriage was never, uh, I've never seen a picture of a good marriage. Mm -hmm. So even when I'm coming here, marriage is not in the picture for me. Mm -hmm. I'm coming from an eight-year relationship that's already mm -hmm. uh, in the collapse. Mm -hmm. Then... Um, um, I'm already coming from a family where there is uh, dysfunction. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to relate to people. Mm -hmm. I'm that kind of a person who doesn't want to harass people. And sitaki kujitokeze hapo because mm -hmm. in my family where I grew up, mm -hmm. you want to stay in a corner mm -hmm. because makelele kianza you know nyu imuta pigo mkiwa toto. So it will end up as children always. Mm -hmm. Children mm -hmm. end up assuming mm -hmm. I am the cause of problems mm -hmm. in my family. Mm -hmm. So a child will always to do the very best. Everything possible mm -hmm. to stay out of trouble, mm -hmm. including keeping quiet as much as possible. So you don't develop even socially, mm -hmm. even social skills you don't mm -hmm. develop. Yeah. Psychologically, all that you you you, you get you become stunted, mm -hmm. not because you chose to, but because you chose to avoid conflict and you do it the best way you know how mm -hmm. as a child, which you don't tend to be. Mm -hmm. So when I'm coming, to as a student, in my mind I'm mm -hmm. thinking. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just want to stay out of people's ways. Yes. I want to live my life. <laughs> and I don't want to, to I want my space. Yes. yes. More importantly, I don't, I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable around me and all that. Mm. Remember, there is this complex in my mind mm. that I am a problem. Mm. Because I'm coming from a problematic background mm. where yeah. I believe I'm the problem. Mm. Yeah. So again, it's not mm. being a snob. And yeah. this is something very key that you're raising up here. Mm. Because at times, we, 
we run too quick to judge people. Yeah. When you see people, they don't want to talk people, and we start saying, ah, wana maringo, ni ana snob. You know, but this guy is going through issues. Yes. I mean, anataka tu uka peke yake. But here we are judging him. Mm -hmm. We are here judging her. But you have no idea what this guy is going, is going through. through. Isn't it also interesting mm -hmm. that even those ones who are outgoing, mm -hmm. we also judge them wrongly. Yeah, <laughs> because they are outgoing. Yes. <laughs> So again, it's all about human relationship. At the end of yeah. the day, you have to find a balance. And this is one of the problem this is one of the challenges mm -hmm. we, we face in marriage anyway. Mm -hmm. Personality clashes yes. and personality yeah. differences. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mimi niko hivyo and my wife is a very good okay. ah, very mm. okay. In fact me I, I like telling people that she's the face of our marriage, you know. Mm -hmm. Because her in a single day she can easily walk into a situation and come up with a friend. Mm -hmm. For me it's going to take quite a bit of time to get mm -hmm. to that point. Mm -hmm. Unona, yeah. Because I want to reserve myself. But mm -hmm. over the years mm -hmm. as I've grown to know her and just being infected by her personality and mm -hmm. love. I, I have learned <laughs> yes. I have learned to start getting out of that cocoon. Ah, it's a painful cocoon. And you start interacting with other yeah, people. Because you have to break a cocoon. Mm -hmm. When you break that cocoon, you begin mm -hmm. seeing yourself, wow, mm -hmm. I'm hurt. Yeah. There is a wound and all that. Mm -hmm. You now have to start interacting with people. It's painful. Mm -hmm. Because even then, people don't understand you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They seem to don't understand yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So what makes you so special that you you want to choose when you want to speak to people, when mm -hmm. you don't want to speak to people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, it's mm -hmm. a whole process. Without uh, people around you with proper uh, taking care of you and understanding, mm -hmm. It's going to be a bit problematic. Mm -hmm. wow. So again, no, no, Mali, no, kuja sasa mm -hmm. from where I'm coming from. So mm -hmm. I'm coming and meeting her there. I'm not a snow. Mm -hmm. I am not a snow. <laughs> Even to the others, I was never a snow. Yeah. But now that is irrelevant because mm -hmm. Atta took up in the same space. Uh, uh, and yeah. again, you can't go explaining to everyone now. Yes. This is what I'm going through. Exactly. You know, so you can't. <laughs> yeah. So you just come, you relax, listen to the word, you go home. But yeah. I knew, I knew in my in my in my mind, I knew mm -hmm. that uh, I am a hot cake. Hey. Yeah, yes, of course. This color. Man. <laughs> no, it's a very nice. So I need to That is not an issue. That is not an issue because for one, uh, one of the things I know about myself, I am not a drama person. Me seem to a drama. Yeah. The utanipata all over the city doing this there. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, sitting at home is more of my style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. her moving out, uh, any kutembeje is more of a style. Nowadays, she's more, of, she wants to sit at home, and I'm more of like, let me try it. Uh, Go out. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we've infected each other. Mm -hmm. But the point is this: um, that um, I, when I was coming to, uh, at that point, we were meeting. I was never, never a snob, mm -hmm. and I did intentionally see, seek to snob her mm -hmm. because at that point, I'm born again, and I'm a I'm a funga chapter of war. Uh -huh. It's mm -hmm. closed. Mm -hmm. That chapter for me is closed. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, if she has received three dreams, mm -hmm. you can be sure I will never receive a single dream. <laughs> yes, she, she has me. none. Even even you don't receive any dream. <laughs> no. It's to show you marriage cannot work. <laughs> God would have to walk, come, uh, come down personally. Yes. And even then, mm -hmm. he would have to do something major. I don't know how he would have to do it. Mm -hmm. But for me, in my mind, mm -hmm. this is closed. This is closed. This is a closed chapter. So both of you mm -hmm. had given up. Man, yes, basically. yes, wow. uh, because of circumstances mm -hmm. and situations eh? mm -hmm. and, and heartache, mm -hmm. you know, heartbreaks. yeah, heartbreaks. Uh, but then I think uh, for me, I, I still had a little, I think my heart was softer because mm -hmm. I had seen marriages working around us. Mm -hmm. So I think my heart was a little bit um, lighter when it came to issues of marriage, mm -hmm. but I was not going to stress myself about it. Like I had made up my mind. I'm not thinking about it i'm not actively investing anything to do with marriage or prayer or like this prayer i was making that day was my last prayer mm -hmm. i was not going to give god lists again mm -hmm. tall dark and handsome mm -hmm. yes. i don't know what mm -hmm. i i stopped in fact the only two prayer prayer uh, i mean the only two lists i had for a husband one i had told god he must fear god mm -hmm. not just love god but fear god mm -hmm. the second one he must be a tither because mm -hmm. i knew mm -hmm. i don't want us to eat our future in our generation mm -hmm. by somebody who eats tithe. He mm -hmm. must believe in tithing. Mm -hmm. For me, that was very key. Mm -hmm. And thank God that's what I got. Mm -hmm. So by the time now he's talking to me in June, mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know how you got my number. But uh, am I, it was during that, the lady who was sick, I think around that time, mm -hmm. he yeah, called yeah, me. 
Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he calls me and he says, hi, uh, this is Anthony Njero. In fact, he introduced himself very formally. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would want to see you. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, why does he want to see me? <laughs> Uh, I say, okay, so when do you want to see me? Then he gives me the date. When you, Okay, before, before then, I think God had done two things to again confirm. Mm -hmm. Remember the one I gave you, the buns, the, the, the cakes in church. One, one Sunday, uh, Wednesday evening meeting, and I tell God, these buns that I'm carrying today, mm -hmm. the first person to come and greet me after the service, mm -hmm. I used to work in a hotel. Ndiye nitapatia hizi buns. Because I had buns for many people, then I had an extra packet. Mm -hmm. So it's like, the one who comes to greet me after the service, ndiye nitapatia hizi buns. Hey. So what happens as I'm walking, and I made sure I'll walk out after the service, I'll walk out so fast, so that whoever will greet me, and salivili mie uko inje. So as I'm walking out, I hear, excuse, excuse me, excuse me, kuangalia nyuma. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm like, no, it cannot be ah. him. Then him, he's carrying a book. So he's like, eh, in the morning, I felt I should bring you this book to read on wow. prayer. So I'm thinking, okay, that's, so now I've started giving God to, to, to test, to mm -hmm. wonder whether truly this is the, the, the right person. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that had happened. So by the time he's calling me now mm -hmm. for this uh, coffee date, the bans issue had happened. He had given me a book. Mm -hmm. The dreams were there. Yeah. He had started saying hi in church, kidogo, kidogo. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let me, let me go and see. So I, okay, that's the next point I gave God a test. Mm -hmm. I told God, if um, the day that he's gonna, because I had evening classes, remember, mm -hmm. I, I was having evening classes. So I told God, whichever day he's going to tell me mm -hmm. for us to meet, mm -hmm. if I am available on that day, mm -hmm. or if you make it possible that we meet on that day, then I'll truly know mm -hmm. I have no other doubt now about this thing. Mm -hmm. Remember, I'm still praying. I can't talk about it, but this thing is really burning within me because mm -hmm. you can't go proposing to a guy and telling him, oh, I have dreams. I have, yes. I, you, it's you, God has shown. <laughs> you have to yeah. wait yes. and, and just pray about it mm -hmm. for the right time. Mm -hmm. so, so he tells me the day he wanted us to meet, it was a Thursday, mm -hmm. and he called me on a Tuesday. So we only have Wednesday, then Thursday is the meeting. Mm -hmm. And truly on Thursday, I have a class mm -hmm. at 5.30. Mm -hmm. So in my heart, I told myself, ah, he see a God. Kwanza venye niko busy or Thursday. Ah, this one, no, this one is not happening. Mm -hmm. Then guess what? Wednesday morning, so I told him I'll confirm on Wednesday. But at the back of my mind, I knew already I'm not going to be available because yeah. I have a class. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday morning, I, I happen to be the class rep. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday morning, my class tutor calls me and says, Mary, I want you to send out emails to everyone. We've canceled tomorrow's class ah. because uh, we have an event with the college. <laughs> so I'm thinking, no, this it, is cannot, God. it cannot be. Ah. <laughs> it cannot be so clear. Mm -hmm. No, it, nothing, no. So she says, yeah, and the teacher tells me, yeah, so make sure you cancel the class. So Thursday, we are not having a class. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, is it a coincidence or what is this? Mm. So I just had to call him and tell him, oh, by the way, our class has been cancelled. Yes, it's possible to see you on Thursday. And that was it. And the rest is history because now we met and, wow. uh, and we talked that evening. We met at 5.30. Mm -hmm. We left town at 11. 11. People who never talked before, there was so much to talk about. Wow. And uh, the other interesting thing, the day we met, this, my husband here, did not come to Ati propose Ati, oh, let's date. Mm -hmm. No, he came and said, me, I want us to get married. And if we are getting married, this is what I have on the table. So from day one, I knew. So the first date. Yes, like if I say yes. It is a marriage. I'm not at here to dilly-dally at a courtship kidogo, mm -hmm. dating kidogo. Mm -mm. He had made it very clear. And he put his whole history on the table. Like he spoke that, everything that about really nice. Yes. So that, this is what you have to deal with. Take it or leave it. That's what he did. Mm -hmm. Take this or leave it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now and you know I took. Looking back on I took what? everything he said, yes. Looking back on he thought he'll push me away. Uh -huh. But too bad. I think <laughs> Me, <laughs> I think I had seen it this. enough. Yeah, yes. for me, I had I had uh, worked on it enough for like six months in my heart, mm. and uh, so we, whatever he put on the table for me, I think I was ready. 
Wow. I was I was very ready. Mm -hmm. um, God had worked on me. That's yeah. what I would say. Yeah. yeah. So when he put it there, I took it. Yeah. So this is the first date. <laughs> yeah, the first date. And all you can say is, this is what you need to have. Mm -hmm. Take it or yeah. leave it. And then to make matters worse, he's coming for the first date with a gift. Hey. See, now he even blows hey. you off, Kabisa. Hey. <laughs> And he, he he knew what he wanted, mm -hmm. but he wanted he didn't want to like make me um he wanted me to make a decision based mm -hmm. on an informed decision based on what he was. Mm -hmm. So that at his to siendele apombele, then I'm like, You never told me this. Like he didn't want me to find surprises after that. Mm -hmm. He wanted to make sure I know wh where he's coming from mm -hmm. and if we are getting into this relationship it's for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's not boyfriend, girlfriend kind of a thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah. here you are. The girl is here. Mm. And all you're saying is it's this this thing is going to marry. Yeah, they are moving forward now. So what were your plans? Well uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to remember that uh, as I said earlier, I'm recently born again. Mm -hmm. And me I'm growing in God. By the way, I was growing very fast. I think so. Yeah, in you my were. in my mind, that's mm -hmm. what I think. And I was serious, very serious about it. Mm -hmm. Very serious. And I think at the point at which I saw this is the next step, mm -hmm. still, uh, I think I just flowed with it. Somehow the, the doubts erased mm -hmm. from that point on. Mm -hmm. But still in my mind I knew uh, marriage, I didn't have a good picture of marriage. So whether it works or it doesn't work, mm -hmm. there's still that option. Mm -hmm. So it didn't matter to me so much. Mm -hmm. If we are going to marriage, it's sour. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't, if we you don't, it's sour. Mm -hmm. Either way, at the end of it all, I had no picture. No, since uh, I have a vision that we are going to grow old together, or things like that. Mm -hmm. I don't have that vision mm -hmm. because I had seen, I had seen where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. and in my background, mm -hmm. marriage doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's it. Mm -hmm. So uh, from that point on, as we moved forward, mm -hmm. uh, in less than uh, I think in less than six months, because I remember we approached the pastor immediately after we talked. Mm -hmm. One of the things uh, we knew to do was. Just go and lay to, to the pastors mm -hmm. and be a pastor. And look, uh, this is the next step I want to take. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So the pastor told me, okay, so you've already met. Mm -hmm. Have you talked? Mm -hmm. And Ajua, this is what you want. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you need it. So from that point on, now this is what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Just take some, some time. Mm -hmm. Just get to know one another. Take some time. Don't mm -hmm. rush into anything. Mm -hmm. Ju I had actually <laughs> briefed the pastor. Now, this is the next step. By December, <laughs> we are going to... <laughs> I'm breathing the pastor. <laughs> so by December we are going to be like this and we are going to be married and okay, that is good. Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> but it's here we have all these years. <laughs> so this is what you're going to do. Just take a bit of time, <laughs> just walk. Take your time. <laughs> don't run. He didn't say don't stop or he just said take your time. <laughs> just get to know one another. <laughs> just get to talk <laughs> and so forth. Wow. As we did this, of course, things took, uh, it, it became clear. There is no way you can panga marriage at all. Yeah. Because there is parents to consider. Mm -hmm. There is this other side to consider. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to bring their own issues. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it ended up taking another one and a half years now. Mm -hmm. uh, almost because now you must involve all these yeah. people. Yes. Yeah. You know, go for the dowries, mm -hmm. start planning for the exactly. wedding. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, that's how green I was. <laughs> and remember, yeah, he's not been in church, yeah. really. Yes. So he doesn't know how it's done in mm. church. Mm. But me, I have seen it longer yes. yeah. because I was in church longer. Mm -hmm. So some things I had to keep telling him, no, it's not done like this. It has yes. to go like this. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think it was it was a good experience. Mm -hmm. It was a very, very good experience. Wow. Yes. Wow. yes. I want us to take a short break. Mm -hmm. And then now as we come back, now I want us to hear mm -hmm. how was the dating like and the wedding. And yeah. how we enter into marriage. Okay. Yes, we are here and I am hosting... Then Jeros, they had given up on marriage. But today, they are celebrating their 12th anniversary. What God can do, mm -hmm. indeed no man can do. Today they are celebrating love. And I am excited to have them here in studio. Yes, so if you have just joined us, Karibu Sana, as we continue listening to this amazing story, by the Jeros. This is Kapo's Wheel Show, and this is where we write down our love with when we are alive, for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under, neither we want our love story to be read when we are gone. My name is Willie Kinyash. Let's continue listening to this 
amazing couple. From the point we first met, <laughs> that far, uh, that Ju June, July, June, mm -hmm. um, all the way until now, the pastor has told us, uh, take your time mm. and get to know another. Mm. And next time when he raised up the subject, mm -hmm. it was almost like six months later. Mm -hmm. And he asked, are you still guys together? Mm -hmm. So yes, we still. Oh, so it's moving on forward. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So now, what is the next step? So now we knew we had to take another step. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, me, I'm green to. I was green at that time. Mm -hmm. So now it was to, to go and meet the parents. Mm -hmm. So I remember uh, the first uh, meeting uh, that was Kenyatta Day, mm -hmm. twenty uh, what we call Mashuja Day today. Mm -hmm. uh, then it was Kenyatta Day, mm -hmm. twenty ten. Mm -hmm. No, 2009, mm -hmm. um, we traveled up country to her home, mm -hmm. to her parents' home in uh, Embu. Mm -hmm. and that's how we met the parents. It was mm -hmm. simply a, simple, uh, a family gathering, nothing more. Mm -hmm. We were just meeting brothers and sisters. And there was nothing talked about. Mm -hmm. I okay, finished, mm -hmm. everybody went home. Mm -hmm. Then I organized for her to come and meet my mom and my dad. Mm -hmm. Um, like a few weeks later. Mm -hmm. I can't remember when it was. <laughs> I think the, the mm -hmm. one we did... Uh, the one we did on 20th of October mm -hmm. was just visiting home. Yeah. And uh, I think one of the things that gave him a culture shock mm -hmm. <laughs> was when he came to our home mm -hmm. and he realized we don't sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> when people have met after a long time, it is stories after stories. You yes. sing, you pray, stories. Mm -hmm. So he was sitting there and he's wondering, what kind of a family is this? <laughs> Because mm -hmm. everyone is loud. Yes. Them, they are not used to that. Yeah. It's a home where you all mind your own business. Mm -hmm. But for us, we sit, you know, at the sitting room, stories are not ending. Yeah. Kicheko. And it's not at just the children, mm -hmm. even our parents. Mm -hmm. We are unleashing stories of Kitambo and just laughing and everything. So my husband is, I'm looking at him from where I'm sitting and mm -hmm. his face now, see, he's, he's brown. Yes. He's already turning red. Yes. <laughs> Anangalia clock ni 2 a.m. Because as we ha we have fun, we, we talk a lot, you mm -hmm. know, in our house. Of course, not not just uh, talking nonsense, but yeah. it's having fun. Mm -hmm. You revisit mm -hmm. stories of when you were kids and yeah. our parents are there and we are laughing. Mm -hmm. So I think that was one culture shock for, mm -hmm. for him when, mm -hmm. when he came to our home. Mm -hmm. But another challenge we had when we were trying to, when we were dating, mm -hmm was uh, or quoting rather mm -hmm. was the challenge of uh, personally i felt i don't want to talk about this relationship mm -hmm. uh in fact when he told me he has already talked to the pastor i was like Aki, why did you have to because mm -hmm. you know i was imagining i dealt with the pastor a few months ago yeah. with the other yeah. ended relationship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now i'm into another one mm -hmm. he'll think i'm rushing mm -hmm. then also you have your own doubts mm -hmm. you're like you don't want to go public about yes. this one until mm -hmm. you're very sure that's that right, it's yeah. actually working. Mm -hmm. So I had that challenge myself. Mm -hmm. um, but well, at least uh, putting it out there in the open made us very accountable. Because mm -hmm. you, you now knew you have to be responsible to one another, accountable mm -hmm. to one another. Other people are watching you. Mm -hmm. And so you have to make sure you put your best foot forward and behave. Mm -hmm. uh, another challenge I faced was, of course, like like he said, I am outgoing. He's very reserved. Mm -hmm. So getting to know him, because mm -hmm. sometimes I would for, for a good example. Mm -hmm. I think my husband was he, he's very reserved and um, he's not uh, he's not into very public, you know, a public lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we would go into a restaurant to have coffee and me I want to enjoy mm -hmm. I'm a hotelier I know what it means to be in a good restaurant and enjoy a nice meal yeah him he'll order for tea and tea and mandazi or tea and samosa <laughs> Maze, I'm thinking gosh eh? what is wrong uh -huh. and it's not like there's no money yeah but he just wants to you know that yeah not minimalist really but you know just being very reserved mm -hmm. so i would be like hey this guy kwani hajipendi why mm -hmm. is he being selfish on himself and things like that mm -hmm. little did no having to learn that bit of him it was quite tricky mm -hmm. then um severally i think up to like when we started dating i think i received a hug from my yeah. husband six months later <laughs> 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 I make fun with that. Alikuwa nanifikisha kwa stage uh -huh. ya matatu zetu anani 
Mungu akubariki dada. Uh, and that's mina. it. <laughs> no hugging. <laughs> Me I'm surprised these days people even kiss yeah. when they are courting. Yes. Nothing. Even a hug. Even a, a hug. hug. Nothing. Na nikukusindikisha amekusindikisha. Mukono. Bwana kubariki sana. Kubarikiwe. Let me know ukifika nyumbani. We. Hey. <laughs> I used to wonder. Eh? Hata kama ni kuokoka. Eh? Okay. Nasema we well, stuck in dugu anguke. So eh? me I'm good. Yes. Fine. Ukitaka ni mkono ni mkono. Mkono. So even the first day I don't know what he hugged me. I think that was like. It was actually the day he hugged me was after our rush and I think it was very successful. He was very happy. Mm. That's the first day he gave me a hug. Wow. Yes. After now the yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, that dowry uh, 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 that's when he gave me he uh, gave me a hug. Uh, uh, yes. Why were you not giving her hug? Koka. Dugo. Yes. Yes. Ni kuokoka. Ni kuokoka. Ni wakovu. Ukupigania yako. Fight with salvation. Eh? Yeah. Eh. Absolutely. And there was a kukwa na hiyo. Even even like um, visiting each other's houses. Mm -hmm. We kept it at, I think until the very last uh, the very last time mm -hmm. is when I think I had to go visit his house because he lived near his parents. Mm -hmm. So as I was going to be introduced to his parents who are nikaona oh kundi ndugu anaishi. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Uh -huh. Yeah. So at our mahali naishi. Ah, pana. <laughs> yes. I mean, we we had, which I like yeah. because it it also gives you boundaries. Yeah. Mm. And uh, it breaks familiarity because mm. I think some of the things that are affecting a relationship nowadays, mm. people getting very quickly and come out very fast. Eh? Yes. It's, you get too familiar with each mm. other. Munajuana na undani sana. You know of my weaknesses, all my strengths. Mm. So even. You lack respect. Yeah. You don't hold with sanctity the relationship that we have. Because mm. we tumejuana sana. Mm. Tumezoyana. Mm. And sometimes even people zoyana to the point of unona tu ahu nika asistangu, nika brathangu. Mm. So you can't even respect that person. You can't mm. even honor mm. the love that they are showing towards mm. you. So mm. I think for us, it worked. Wow. Our style worked. Wow. <laughs> Our style worked. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. now after that, I think after the wedding, interestingly, his arm is all over me. He will want to walk holding my hand, and sometimes mm -hmm. I have to pull down my. I'm thinking to kota o katikati ya watu. Wow. Eh? Yeah, he's he went now all Vidu, out. We do change. We can change anga completely. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to hold my hand and he doesn't care even in front of our parents mm. he wants to hold my hand mm. he will stand in the middle of nowhere and say i want to hug you mm. he will anything he will do all those wow. things right wow. now wow. yeah amazing so he ch he been to vika change yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. what are some of the challenges you've gone through in your marriage and how did you overcome them all right mm. um of course the very first one uh ndio nakwambia there is a background of coming from. yes yes that one I assure you, it's a, it's a game changer. Even though if there's anything that would have destroyed my marriage, mm. I think that one, uh, where I came from. Mm. And uh, because first and foremost, I wasn't aware mm. that I was deeply hurt. Mm. I wasn't aware because it was normal. Mm. Dysfunction is normal. Mm. Dysfunctional families operate in such a way mm. that you normalize dysfunction. Mm. If you are not fighting, mm. there's something wrong. As opposed to people who are normal, mm -hmm. uh, if you are fighting, it's abnormal. In this other world, mm -hmm. when, you are when families are fighting, when parents are fighting, when kids are fighting, mm -hmm. that's a normal thing. Mm -hmm. In fact, you look forward to the next uh, blame game and all that. Mm -hmm. So when I came into this marriage, I was wondering exactly where, what am I supposed to be doing in mm -hmm. this marriage? Mm -hmm. What exactly is marriage? Mm -hmm. So I had to start learning again marriage. Now I'm already married and I have to start relearning marriage mm -hmm. just leave alone the roles of a man provider and so forth mm -hmm. well even those of us now have to start relearning again mm -hmm. because uh, but what is marriage mm -hmm. because me and Leona, my, my, my dad and my mom zile vita walikuwa nazo zilikuwa mingi they were classic mm -hmm. i mean they were i think if they were i would actually call them the, 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 their nuclear warheads mm -hmm. how we live they okay, explode. Mm -hmm. Those guys are nuclear. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, my late mom went to uh, passed away about uh, in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, that's about four years now. Mm -hmm. And um, 
the uh, what, uh, that's why I, I speak about some of these things because I know well the that history. Mm -hmm. I can say some few things with co confidence. Mm -hmm. Having come from such a devastating background, mm -hmm. it I had to now start changing again mm -hmm. and embrace a whole new way of doing things and marriage. Yeah. So background affects for me. Mm -hmm. I, anyway, I think everybody background affects mm -hmm. everyone. For mm -hmm. everybody, background is important. Mm -hmm. But for me, that's how I, uh, that, that's the first challenge I had to deal with. Mm -hmm. How to start, uh, maybe I should give an example of, maybe you would give me an example of where we clashed a lot mm -hmm. in terms of marriage. Like when, when we had the issue of, um, when we have an argument. Mm -hmm. I, okay, basically, normally I'm the one who talks a lot. Mm -hmm. But when we have an argument, mm -hmm. because he came from a place where an argument you have to shout. Yeah. Uh -huh. So him, he used to shout. Yes. I was just making my points much more clearly. <laughs> yeah, through shouting. I, I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> yes. I, I also come from such a family. <laughs> so for him, an argument, the shouting has to be there. Mm. So I think actually it was a shocker the first time. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, wait a minute. In real life, you're so quiet. You don't even talk. Yes. But when an argument comes up, the shouting the is... Voice. The voice is up there. Mm. And I used to tell my, my, you know, I used to tell people that and they're like, ah, we una ekele anjero. Hey, That's a lie. He can't. Una muekele anga. So me, I would, I, 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 I would now go down and keep quiet and not say anything. Now he's, he's left. Akiwa mm. ukoju. So I think one day is when I told you, you will never talk to me if you'll be shouting. And I think it, you know, the wake up call was like, wait. Mm this is actually happening i can't i can't be shouting like this mm -hmm. that's when the lights went in his mind he was like oops you know mm -hmm. and um i think that really helped mm -hmm. me being able to stand my ground and say no you cannot be shouting when you're talking to me mm -hmm. and if you want me to listen to you you will not shout otherwise if you're shouting me i'll switch off and mm -hmm. we won't talk mm -hmm. so and he says that in the house that used to be the case. Mm -hmm. Like if you have to be heard, and you have to you are, shout. If you, are wimpy, if you decide to shout, my friend. Can. Ah, my <laughs> Meru, Meru. Yeah, eh, is going to go to manga. So, and me, I, I always used to go down. Knowing the arguments come to that point mm -hmm. in Anyamaza too. Mm -hmm. But I think all through. Um, our challenges have been, I think, one, because of his background, mm -hmm. or even mine, even mm -hmm. my own background, mm -hmm. really. Because I, in as much as he's coming from a family where marriage was dysfunctional, now me, I'm coming from a place where marriage was functional, mm -hmm. and uh, I had a very, I have a very involved mom. Mm -hmm. my, my people are involved in our business. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we operate as a family. Mm -hmm. So if there's something happening at my place, my brothers know, their wives know, mm -hmm. we, are, we are involved. Mm -hmm. And one would think you're meddling into mm -hmm. people's businesses, but mm -hmm. we are very involved with one another. Mm -hmm. So th th I think the first uh, argument we had, mm -hmm. we got married on a September. So December, mm -hmm. the Christmas day. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. That one was not nice for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one was not nice for me. Because I expected... Mm -hmm. Now that uh, our whole family is meeting at my mom's place for Christmas, including my cousins and everything, we are also going yes. for Christmas there. Mm. So I tell him, by the way, guys are meeting at my mom's place for Christmas, so we are going. And I'm, I'm not informing him. Mm. I am, I'm not at asking. You are not requesting. No, I'm not requesting. Yes. I am saying we are going. We are going. Because <laughs> for me, it was very automatic. Mm. And he's like, no, there is nowhere we are going. And I'm like, why? And he says, it's our first Christmas together as a married couple, mm -hmm. so we will spend it together, me and you. Why? We are not going to other people's places yes. that is for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Ah, we. That one, Big that Yamaisha. one, uh, <laughs> that one, <laughs> that was my worst December. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ah, that one was a bad one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Of course, I argue, argue, nini, nini. He's mm. like, no, this is our first. Mm. Then I remember you were told to submit. Yeah. So I'm like, but this one, this one doesn't qualify. <laughs> this is not amongst the things yes. you're supposed to submit. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and you can be sure, his word, I mean, he had the day. I mean, he, he took the day, so we didn't go. So that Christmas day, I'm like, today I'm not talking in this house. Mm. 
my brothers and sisters, my cousins, they are already they are calling, calling me, you. showing me photos that the way they are having fun. Yes. You call them the background, the noise is, you know. Yes. Everyone is so excited. Nairobi is so boring mm. in December. Yeah. Kwanza that week of Christmas. Mm. So imagine to Kohuko. I think kwa, kwa the whole of where we live, yo barabara yote, I think we were the only one. <laughs> <laughs> and him he has no big deal with it uh -huh. because first of all Christmas as it was in a celebrity well, those were not those were not things yeah. to celebrate yeah. to celebrate Sangapi and everyone is fighting the other so mm -hmm. him he was yeah, used Christmas. to just being on his own on Christmas mm -hmm. so you know that really rubbed off badly on me I mean I, I had it took time for me to to understand how mm -hmm. why is he saying we cannot go to celebrate Christmas with other people mm -hmm. why would you choose this boring life of being here mm -hmm. Anyway, but he had plans for the day we went yeah, out, yeah, I think, Animon, Animon, and it's, I'm thinking, me na leto Animon, and it's, kwa watoto. Since we then lunch somewhere in town, and I'm thinking, this lunch would have, I'm not talking. Yes. Ata, na hizo ma Animon, and it's, I'm just acting, I'm okay. Lakini yuko ndani ni meumwa. Then I realized, ah, siyezi kasirika forever. Anyway, you, you move on. Mm hmm you move on from that another experience i had was on spending money mm -hmm. uh so i think after after that year i think sometime the following year i go to work I, we were still very newly married i think we were still within the three three months um mm -hmm. of our marriage mm -hmm. and uh i go to work and you know at workplaces you have people selling things mm -hmm. you have your friend mm -hmm. who comes with a uh, clothes and sales kando kando mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you have a friend who has this deal you know mm -hmm. so this friend of mine was selling clothes mm -hmm. and uh, nika chukua i think some clothes from her and the bill was around 4000 mm -hmm. and in my mind and she told me you utanilipa pesa end month mm -hmm. i'm like ah it's not a big deal that's yeah. fine mm -hmm. so i take the clothes and i go home with them <laughs> and i'm there you know check in ilibai he excited. I'm like, what is wrong? Why, why, why would you buy clothes, Sahi? And we had agreed on a financial plan once we get married. Like, this is what we need because we don't have all that money. And you know, when people get married, that those first few months, you're either changing jobs or yeah. you're adjusting your spending and things like that. So we didn't have at that luxury money to spend on clothes at that time. Na si ati siku ananguo. Ni vile ni beshte anauza. Lazima ni promote beshte. Ha, my friend. Kanimbe, I know you return the clothes because you know very well. But you tetu at this time cannot allow. Mimi na mimi ni nani? Si I have a salary. Si ni mimi ni talipa. Kwa ni ni wewe. He, so I take the clothes. Kanimbe, I know you go back with the clothes. And the following morning he reminds me, carry the clothes and take back. Nikazichukua, nikaenda nazo. Kufika job, nikajiambia. How can I return these clothes? And this is my friend I was promoting. How? Na ezaje rudisha izingu. It's not fair. Na nilisha chukua and I promised I will pay. So me, I didn't return. Jiyo ni tena nikarudi na nguo nyumbani. Ah, it was not easy for me. So did he finally agree? He has never agreed up to today, but I did not return the clothes. <laughs> but let me tell you, <laughs> he hated those clothes forever. Ata ningeva, think I'm very niko smart, and I think that was my first lesson on submission. Wow. That one, that one was my first lesson on submission. I mean, it it hit me hard because after that, every other argument we would have, it used to find itself to those clothes. Always, it used to go back. I told you to do this, you did not do. I told you to do this. Now, it's even months and years after he would still refer to that issue. So, I think for me, learning submission was not an easy thing. Especially for an independent person. Because I was very independent. He too was very independent. Um, I had lived alone for quite some years before getting married. Because when I finished college, I was able to live alone. My brothers passed through my hands in my house. So I, I was independent. I was making my own decisions. I was doing things on my own way. So 
having somebody now to to tell you what to do and especially nitty gritty things like those according to me i was seeing them very nitty gritty yeah. Actually, i just spent on clothes you have an mm. issue on that i've yes. been buying clothes and, and i've been buying clothes ever since yes. so it was not making sense mm -hmm. but then i realized it's not the clothes that are a problem it's my willingness to respect his decision mm -hmm. and to understand where he was coming from which is true. We, did, we were financially strained. Mm -hmm. And he kept asking, why are you spending money that you don't even have? Why are you promising someone mm -hmm. that you'll pay the clothes end month mm -hmm. and you don't even have that money yet? Mm -hmm. Spend what you have. Yeah. That was where he was coming from. Mm -hmm. So uh, I learned that one the hard way. Mm -hmm. Of course, he later forgave me, yeah. but I learned it the hard way. Mm -hmm. I, I had to learn submission the hard way. Yeah, wow. yeah, and now I had also to learn that there's something called consultation in yes, a marriage. Yes. You know, <laughs> you consult, yes. <laughs> you disagree to yeah. agree. Mm. Yeah, those are some of the challenges I had to face the the first and years of years, marriage. Yeah, yeah. 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 As, uh, now as the years are moving forward, mm. new challenges are coming up. Yes. Yeah, of course I buy my own clothes. Eh? Mm. I can buy now. Mm. Right now things are yeah, different. Yeah, right now it's, we, it's I not I, no, uh, but I think the challenges are bigger. Yes. But you know, at that place maybe. Mm. The buying of those clothes at that point was the issue. Yeah. But again, it's not the clothes so much as, as the decision. Mm -hmm. You know, let's make this decision together because we are looking at our finances. Do we have what you want to spend? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, I think, what I was not able to hear. Mm -hmm. Me, I was seeing the way he hates me. He hates me supporting my friends. Mm -hmm. He wants to make decisions for me. Kwani, he married me to manipulate me. Yeah. You know, I was reading something that was not there for him it was very clear mm. we have a financial plan let's stick to the financial plan wow. you know <laughs> yeah so and, and uh, maybe I, I would love yeah. In general yeah. to speak to men out there yeah. maybe there are some couples right now they are watching us mm. and maybe they are going through uh the same thing that you went through that time mm. what would you tell them well First and foremost, I think um, in the early years of marriage, mm -hmm. let, let's just start from where it starts. In the early years of marriage, mm -hmm. men really want to own their space, own their family, be men over their whole family. Mm -hmm. Right now, where I am at 12 years, it's no longer an issue. Mm -hmm. Whether uh, it's, not, it's not even a question whether I'm the head of the home. Mm -hmm. It's a given. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. um, and I think it is very clear mm -hmm. that even on, at, at that early stage, mm -hmm. a man is still the head of the family. Yes. But men naturally want to it. Yeah, you mm. have to do that. You mm. have to make sure it's very every mm. small mistake must be punished severely. <laughs> because you're the head. <laughs> yeah, because you're the head. <laughs> yeah. Because these are the early times when we bombard so many things. You're the head of the home. You're the head of, and this head of it has not been explained clearly mm -hmm. what headship really means. Wow. Because if headship is really about rubber stamping everything. Mm -hmm. It's not headship, it's simply, it's simply giving orders. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is about understanding your responsibilities as a man, as a husband, as a father, mm -hmm. well then, you're, you're, you're doing headship now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you, you don't have to clash with anybody. Yeah. By, being, by, by, by doing what you have been vested by God and legally mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. The law sees you as a head. Mm -hmm. It doesn't see you as any other thing. God sees you as a head. Mm -hmm. it doesn't see, see, so I think it's just it's, it's a transition phase. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have to go through mm. or we have to go through those transition phases mm. and they are dangerous also mm. Mm. those early years are dangerous mm. i think um, if we allow them to pull uh, if we allow those transition periods to take too long mm. then we are going to have another event we are, we are going to set kama vile uji uliwacha asubuhi ilikuwa moto vizuri kuja jioni ukiangusha hivi it's kabisa we have that danger of having our marriages becoming like that. Mm -hmm. So again, communication becomes key. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to communicate. Mm -hmm. Open up. Whether you like it or not, just open. Try as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Find a way, mm -hmm. even if it is creating a space. Switch mm -hmm. off the TV, switch off the net. Mm -hmm. uh, put away the phones. Mm -hmm. um, say tonight, uh, we are going to make every effort mm -hmm. to... Um, we are going to make every effort to talk. Otherwise, one of these days, Utajipata Gari Mekoma, Haina Fuel, mm -hmm. she has money. Mm -hmm. And you can't have it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> so you say that you learned submission the hard way. Mm -hmm. I want you to speak to women out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. How should they submit? <laughs> uh, maybe how may not really work for every person. Mm -hmm. Because I think the, the how may differ. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is it, it's, a, it's a principle in marriage mm -hmm. that submission is a must mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a Christian couple or not. Mm -hmm. There are principles that uh, govern marriage. Mm -hmm. If you follow those principles, whether you're a Christian or you're not a Christian, you're a Muslim or whatever you are, mm. those principles don't change mm. because that is what God intended. Mm. For example, marriage is between a man and a woman. Yeah. That's a principle. Mm. So whether it's a man and woman, Hindu or man mm. and woman, Muslim, mm. that's a principle. Mm. If you do it the right way, it's going to work. Mm. So even for submission, it is a principle. Mm. And uh, what is submission? Over the years, what I have learned about submission, it's more so an issue of your heart. Mm. Where is your heart? Where is your heart? Mm. How much do you honor mm. and regard that person mm. in your heart? Mm. Where is the place of respect in your heart for this person? Mm. Then the action mm. will easily flow. Mm. And what are the actions? Some of it is just listening, mm. giving this person the ear, give them the, the ear to know, I mean the ear to listen and know that actually I value what you're saying to me. Mm. Give your husband time to listen to what he's saying. Mm. It shows that you value what he's saying. Mm. You respect him. Mm. The other thing about submission, it is respect. Mm. How you talk, mm. how you project your voice mm. when you're talking to him. Mm. That is very, very key. The other thing is how you appreciate this, your husband. Mm. Remember, I've said it coming. it's coming from the heart. Mm. It's an issue of the heart. It's mm. humility within your heart. Mm. Then now the results or what you show forth or the actions you put out there. So appreciation, appreciate him when he does something good. Mm. Appreciate him when uh, he is supporting the family. Mm. Clearly, you know, there are men out there who are deadbeat fathers. Yeah. But they have homes they come to every day. Mm. But there's no contribu contribution, contribution they are making to that mm. house. Mm. But appreciate that man for just being the man mm. that he is. And for offering you the support, mm. whether it's monetary or just even uh, moral support, mm. appreciate that person. Mm. That is submitting. Mm. Then consulting. Mm. Consult. Show this person that their opinion matters. Mm. Even if it's a decision I have to make for me as a woman, mm. probably it involves the kitchen. Honestly, the kitchen is a woman's <laughs> zone. Eh? <laughs> but once in a while, I will consult with my husband. Mm. Because... That's why he's been given to me as the head. Yeah. He will help me. He will help me see the things I cannot see. Mm. He's the head, so the head has the eyes. So mm. he can see what personally I cannot see. Yes. So by consulting this man, mm. you're showing him that, by the way, mm. I value your presence in this house. Mm. I value your opinion. Mm. Guide me in making this decision. Mm. You're not being told that you're an underdog mm. by submitting. You mm. know, if you're a woman or you're a mat where he can walk on. No, mm. it is an issue of the heart. Yeah. And then we see the appreciation. We see the respect you give this person. You mm. consult this person. Mm. You give him his space. Mm. That is what I would call submission. Oh. And it may vary for, for different people because maybe sometimes your husband is not, maybe it's a long distance relationship. So he's not there to see all these things every day. Mm. But the truth is, if, if your heart is right about the issues of submission, mm. you will show them through an action in one way or another. But let it start from inside. Wow. You cannot say you submit with the mouth. Mm. It has to start from inside. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I'm told that our time is up. Yes. <laughs> so we need to wind up. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's something we always do here mm -hmm. before we wind up. Uh, the show. Okay. And so I want you to look to each mm -hmm. other. Yes. Okay. And then, <laughs> yes. And then, <laughs> <a> blush. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So and then, mm -hmm. and I uh, will start with Njeru. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want you to speak to your wife words that will come from deep within you. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm good. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Yeah. Just like I did then. <laughs> yeah. And I've been changed. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You, uh, how can I put it? Uh, you've been, let me say, you are actually the best thing that happened in my life. Mm -hmm. mm, you did. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, that is true. I become better, a better person because of you. Yeah. Thank you. Karim. Asante. Uh, wow. Gosh, I have so much I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Mm. You say it every day. Um, thank you for supporting me and uh, being there for me. And being the leader in my life 
that I never had mm. and helping me shape my life mm. a lot because you bring a lot of balance mm -hmm. for me and you bring a lot of sobriety sometimes even when i'm i'm not thinking right mm -hmm. you always are that voice of reasoning mm -hmm. yeah so you really help me on that mm -hmm. thank you for loving us mm -hmm. me and the boys mm -hmm. thank you for the way you have laid your life and sacrificed yourself for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. yes and we are doing this for the long haul yeah mm -hmm. it's for until forever, until forever. yes yeah. mm. i love you too mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, 21. My pen's in the air here. And that is why yeah. we always come here to sign our love. Will. So mm -hmm. thank you very much for coming. Most I welcome. really appreciate you so mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Maybe how can people uh, get in touch with you? You said you are a caterer and yes. I know you do a good thank job. You. So thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, on Facebook I have uh, Gakin Jero as my Facebook account. Uh, I'm still trying to get into TikTok and Instagram uh, and, uh, <laughs> and learn those things. Uh -huh. uh, but on Facebook, at least, I am there, Gakin Jero. Uh, my catering company is Delightful Providence. Uh -huh. Delightful Providence, that's my catering company. Uh, it's I'm, on Facebook? Yes, uh -huh. it's on Facebook and also on Instagram. Uh -huh. Then... Uh, in as far as coaching mm -hmm. is concerned or mentoring for marriage is concerned, we mm -hmm. do both premarital counseling and postmarital counseling. Mm -hmm. So if somebody reaches out to me on Facebook, mm -hmm. we'll do it. Okay. Well, something he didn't tell you, he's a mediator. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the yeah. Way, yeah. And that's, <laughs> I, I should have said that early and yeah. along the way, I think I yeah. realized. Because uh, I'm a certified professional mediator. Yeah. I do a lot of family family mediation. Yeah. Uh, bringing couples together, trying yeah. to sort of differences, separating them where necessary. Yeah. Yeah. But the point is trying to bring so we are very much yeah. on this while I do it to prepare people for marriage, mm -hmm. him he does it <laughs> when people are, are in marriage uh -huh. and there is you know they've started going legal yes. issues, yeah. mm -hmm. so he comes in very well. Yeah, there. Also a theologian, so yeah. all that is really wow. that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Maybe there's someone who is watching us mm -hmm. and uh, they are not on Facebook. Do you have a okay. number? Maybe they can yes. call uh, zero seven four eight. One eight four one two zero zero seven four eight one eight four one two zero. Yes, wow. they can reach us on that. Yes, yes. yeah. Wow. So thank you very much for coming. Asante. We are honored. Thank you. Looking forward to having you again. Asante. Here. I've loved Asante. the story. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Namkienda msalio watoto. Tutasalimi asana. Thank you for having us. Asante. Asante. Yes, and we come to the end of tonight's show. So if you're there and you're having an issue, or you know a couple, a young couple, or maybe a couple they are planning to get married, you can reach out to them, you can call that number. If you have an event and you'd love them to come and cook for you, I have tasted their food, <laughs> so I can confirm here, they do good food, so you can reach out to them and they'll be a blessing to you. Thank so you. for now, it is a good night, God bless you, God bless your marriage, and this is Couples Week Show, and this is where we write down our love with when we are alive, or we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. My name is Willie Kinyash, and now that they call me the undisputed Ama Dr. Love. You can also follow me on Facebook, IG as Willie Kinyash Asantini Sana. This is Woma TV, the voice of hope.